Good morning. Well, Good morning. welcome to Skagen in Denmark. So uh, we're going to have a look around here today, see what we can find. So again, if you'd like to join us, please feel free. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we're blocking the roads. <laughs> so yes, we're going to have a little wander around, see what there is and what there isn't. Julie's got a new app. <laughs> Dope, eh? Lost the last one. Oh dear. Yeah, custom in fault, Johnny and Axe. <laughs> right. Oh, bloody hell, and I fell over the bag. Okay, let's have a look. Denmark, the people are lovely and so oh, friendly. Yeah, they so nice. all speak English. <laughs> well, certainly the ones we've met do anyway. Mm. So, uh, very nice. Very, all, the, all the countries we've been to, everybody's been lovely. Absolutely, can't recommend them enough. And lack of litter is, is very noticeable. <laughs> yeah. Old World War II sea mine. Some cannons. <clears throat> so in World War Two, these things, if you didn't know, were filled with high explosives, placed in the sea and anchored to the seabed, and uh, just under the sea. So unwary ships would come along, and the bow of the ship or the side of the ship would hit one of these, which is a detonator and this thing would then explode like a giant hand grenade and blow a big hole in your ship and probably down she'd go and they used to plant, plant these in vast quantities and of course nobody bothered telling anybody where they'd planted them because that was the whole idea and then after the war we spent years the allies spent years mine sweeping looking for the damn things just like landmines except probably harder to spot because they're under the water. These cannons look like they've been underwater and dredged up yeah, ancient, actually, possibly yeah. 18th, 19th century. Episode 624B, Skagen manhole covers. See if I can find a better one than that, but it's all right. Cut around, water will fire when I can we have a record machine as well. Yeah, but not here. We have now another yeah. occasion of having yeah. it. It's a lot bigger place. Yes, a small version. Yeah. Handmade candy. Yeah, they're making sweets. <laughs> they're making. What's up? What we call rock. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It's rock. So, it's so this is a little tourist town. It's very pleasant. Yeah, a nice busy little town. Lots of little shops. And the supermarket. Pretty good. supermarket still going strong and the train station classic train walk on with your bicycle whatever yeah facilities for bikes and backpackers <laughs> train station I guess the line stops here Skagen station 
So what we've got is Aldi. But this is the blue Aldi. Notice the different logo and everything. And I believe, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe there was a uh, split between two brothers that took over the business. And one brother took one set of countries and the other brother took the other set of countries. And so you've got two different colours, two different logos, two different businesses really, but both bearing the Aldi name. Don't know. Don't know. Look, same old pilot eye. Sell it as cheap as possible and in fact looking at the other shop next door yeah, massively it's massively cheaper yeah. massively and we don't even live here but next door which was netto yeah, yeah. selling branded products and this oh in fact they are selling the same kind of yeah, kit so it almost be manufactured and the, just, the business has just split box. Burger and fish. <coughs> and a skag in the high street, I guess. <laughs> Very pleasant. Very cosmopolitan. Quiet. Lots of little shops. <laughs> Now we've got to go hunt the beach because I don't know if there is a beach, so we've got to go find it. Oh. But uh, I couldn't find really the beach in the last part, so maybe we'll have more luck with this one. <laughs> Who knows? I go shop. Nice church in the middle of town. A bit of a nice quiet area. Well, if it's striking 12, it's a bit late. <laughs> so, I found the beach. <laughs> yep, found the beach. Beautiful. Lighthouse is up the end, all sand dunes. Beautiful. Soft white sand. Yeah. Yeah. There's got a plate to make out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have a paddle. In the Baltic. So, who knew? <laughs> Lovely. The icy cold Baltic. <laughs> lovely and clear though. <laughs> Absolutely lovely and clear. Yeah, that icy cold is that. Old lighthouse there in the background. I 
can't remember what these things are. Trebuchet? Treb I don't know. can't remember what it's called. Treb I wonder how long one of these would last. A GPS located life thing. Throw into the sea. For somebody in distress. Call number. few people milling about up there so not what I thought there's a kind of a rudimentary lighthouse Basquiat light first of its kind were ended and then erected in Denmark So from what I'm understanding, this this basket would be lowered to the ground, filled up with flammable material, logs and twigs and branches and things, and set on fire. And then the counterbalance weight would lift it and raise it into the air to warn shipping that, it, that in fact out to sea there are reefs and to stop them crashing into the reefs. This uh, was later replaced by the lighthouse which is uh, over in the distance there. So the lighthouse over there. Well, so friends, we are back at the cruise ship, uh, the beautiful Ambassador Ambience, and uh, we've had a lovely day in Skangen, in Denmark, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and uh, we'll see you on the next vlog. See you later. Bye.